Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show how to create a new Crete prefabs using TD TBTK. All right, so let's get started. First, we need a set of mesh we can use. Um, I've got an example mesh here. Just to make it different from what we already have in the example is a set of skeleton I got from SS Store. It's free. You can get it. But okay. First, we need an empty object, All right? Let's name it Unit Skeleton. You should understand that all the units are basically an empty object with unit script attached on it and a mesh as a child object. So basically, that's it. You can go without a child object if you wish, but it's just that nothing will be shown on screen. So yeah, now we're gonna give it some mesh. We we'll use this skeleton. So we make it a child object. Make sure it's center. So the position should be zero zero zero. All right, and then we can make it a prefabs. Otherwise, we can't use it. Okay, now we no longer use this. Delete it. Okay, the next thing we're gonna assign to unit manager. So this is where all your unit assignment goes. So if you want to create a new unit, you add to the game database here. And if you want to remove a unit from the framework, you can do so here as well. So let's not do that. Let's just add these prefabs here. Right now you can see it's here. So unit skeleton, that's the prefabs. And let's name it properly, skeleton. And we might as well give it an icon. Okay, now we can go on and edit it in Unit Editor. Okay, it's there. See, all right. So don't worry about this. Uh, I have some problems with uh, while I'm recording that the Unit Unity Editor doesn't quite work properly. So yeah, but anyhow, let's move on. So as you can see, this is the the stats for all. The, all the stats for all the prefabs we unit prefabs we created just now, you can assign the attack mode, uh, hit point, movement, all the stat basically, right? Or you can give it an ability and so on. But uh, that's not important. You can figure this out yourself very easily. Now the important bit is the animation setting. So some of you might have problem understanding how this works so basically you assign the animation object which is the object contains the animation component so let's look back to our prefabs again so we have the root object and the mesh object and so on and so forth if you look at it it's quite a hierarchy so we got plenty on to go but the thing is we need the game object which have this animation component attached so we know the animation will be played from here skeleton alright so now we know that we can go back to unit editor what we need to do uh, again alright apologies again for but now it works so there's the whole list of the hierarchy so we know that we need skeleton so this is the component this is the object which has the uh, animation component attached so let's assign it okay and then select the animation we want as you can see you can assign more than one animation if you have many variation uh, for this we only have one what do um this is attack right so attack should be attack destroy should be one die move we run okay i i know what to what to select based on what i have here so the rest are just animation for other game object so for ideal animation I'll just select wait for battle okay that's it now we finish editing our 
unit. We don't need this anyway. Okay, now we can try to put it into the game. Um, let's get an example scene. Simple one will do. Okay, yeah, if you know, you should notice that once you add the unit prefabs into the unit manager, you can access it in in this editor here. So, right, so it's there as well as if you have all this you can yeah it should be there as well let's not change anything as well as the starting unit but yeah you can figure that out yourself right now what we're going to do is add the skeleton as a player unit Somewhere here. Oh, all right now. The problem is it's a bit small. So how do we go on and fix that? So if you remember well, um, is a unit is is actually an empty object with a mesh attached as a child object. So the size of the mesh should have no no effect on the gameplay. So we can just adjust the size of the of the mesh. So it's right there, so okay, that should good, look good enough, or we can even make it bigger if we want. Right, it's a bit too big, but it's okay, we'll go with that. So if you apply change, this prefab will get changed as well. So let's delete this and play. Oh. I forgot this. Sorry about that. We shouldn't regenerate the scene. Okay, now the skeleton is there, it's playing the animation. Can I switch unit? I can't switch unit. This is unfortunate. Allow unit switching faction base. Okay. Oh, probably it's my mouse um, terrible but anyway it should work right I'm gonna stop the video here I apologize I can't show you further because I'm recording uh, in a rather unprepared fashion on my laptop so there you go you just have to believe me that it will work right so yeah thanks for watching hope this helped